watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. If it looks cold, it is! Hey everybody, welcome to the show at the Northern Saskatchewan where we're with Big Spruce Outfitting and hopefully the bears are going to show up for work. The reason why I enjoy bear hunting so much is the feel that I have right now, the feel that I've had for the last 20 minutes. They turn my crank big time. I'm shaking like a little boy. I don't know, it's buck fever, bear fever, what it is, but there's something about it. I absolutely can't get enough of this. That bear did everything right. Perfect. Holy oh, smokes. This is a trip that Maddie and I have been looking forward to for a long time. I mean, we love Saskatchewan. I've been hunting Saskatchewan for, I guess, 30 years or more now. And so this trip is, is at a new place. We've never been at this place where we're heading. It's called Big Spruce Outfitting. It's located in the northern part of Saskatchewan. I mean, way up in the province and is remote, really remote. Matter of fact, it's a two day hike to get up here from South Texas. Yeah. All right, I want to tell you about Mark Bellchamber. Uh, Mark Bellchamber is the kind of guy that if you get in a fight, by God, you want him on your side. He's one tough kid. You got to be tough to be up here, to be as successful as he is in this tough country. The, the cool thing about coming up here is that you got fishing to do. I mean, this is a six day hunt and six day fishing trip too. So if you shoot your bear on the very first day, shoot, you can go fishing all the time. And Mark, he loves taking people fishing. Mark loves his job. As far as the way we're gonna choose to hunt, uh, we're gonna hunt with our bows. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk about that for a minute. I mean, uh, Mark Bellchamber, the guy who owns, uh, you know, he owns Big Spruce Outfitting. He primarily caters to bow hunts. And uh, I mean, because the baits are real close and, and all. And he primarily caters to bow hunters, but he could take a gun hunter if you're a gun hunter you want to come. But why did I want to shoot a bow? To be honest with you, I missed bow hunting. I laid off of it a few years and I missed it terribly. I mean, I, I love being close to animals. I've bow hunted all my life. All right, so it's finally starting to get dark and we've situated ourselves in camp. We had a beautiful boat ride in. We want to make sure that our bows are still sighted in. We went to Leading Edge Archery in Bernie, Texas, and Scott just rigged us out and we shot amazing. But I want to make sure that he wasn't my good luck charm, so I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot right, you shoot left, okay? Bear hunting, why do I love it so much? Uh, boy, I mean, I could talk about it for days. Bear hunting is one of those kind of things to me that uh, is very peaceful, it's tranquil. You sit out in the woods and I mean, it gives you an opportunity for your soul just to, just to really search and find out what's important to you. You think about back home, and I mean, back home is a long ways from up here. And it just gives you time to sit there and think and ponder. and. Uh, you know, and appreciate the things that you have in life. Your heart rate is calm, it's peaceful, and then all of a sudden a bear shows up and it is BAM! It's like a shot of adrenaline right through you. That was the big bear. That was the big bear. I put one right through the middle of him. And I get so fired up that I start shaking and man, I love bears. I mean, they come in, every one of them comes in different. Some will come in and because of the time of year, a lot of them are scratching right now. You'll see them up scratch against a tree and they look like, like circus bears. Of course, I've done it for so many years now that I'm waiting for a big bear. 
But my problem is I don't wait long enough. I mean, I have shot so many bears through the years and I've shot some different color faced bears and I've hunted bears with hounds. Take your time. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Bear hunting with hounds in California. It is, uh, this is something that, unfortunately, this will be the last year this is ever done. And the dogs right now, they're doing what they live to do. And I've hunted bears over bait, and I've hunted bears spot and stalk, and, and I've taken some really nice bears, but I've never taken a really big bear. So that's what I'm hoping to take when I come up here. My name is Mark Bellchamber, owner operator of Big Spruce Outfitting here in Northern Saskatchewan. We're real pleased to have Keith and Maddie Warren up with us. We're gonna be doing a little bear hunting, a little bit of fishing. Either way, we're gonna have a lot of fun. One of the greatest options up here at Big Spruce Outfitting is our color phase bears. We have a big, vast variety of color phase, but the blonde genetics run real deep. It's not common to see them, but we do have a lot of them here. Here's a little tip I'm gonna give you. If you hunt bears, you know that bears are mischievous as can be. And if you wind up hunting them where there's a lot of bears, you better have a metal box in order to help protect your camera. Now, we use nothing but Reconyx cameras. They are expensive, but they are worth every dime that you pay for them. And we protect them with a nice metal box. Reconyx says that there's some really good bears coming in this area. I just don't know if they'll come in the bad weather or not. Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are going to keep my farms working tip-top shape. Gee, this is filthy. This little gun has been abused like you can't even imagine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to bring this gun back to life. And by doing so, I'm going to use these products right here. I'm going to start with the aerosol can of Lucas CLP. I'm going to spray down the entire gun from one end to the other. Next, this is a double barrel. It's got a 22 on top and a 410 barrel on the bottom, and both of them probably are filthy. So what I want to do is take the bore solvent, and I'm going to put it on a brush, and I'm going to run it down each barrel. Then I'm going to run patches down through both barrels until the patches come out clean. Next, I like to take a piece of steel wool, and uh, really, if it's got light rust, rub the light rust down with it to remove as much of that rust as possible. Double check it, make sure that all the rust is off. And then I go to the receiver. I wind up taking a little swab and go down inside the receiver, spray it out again with the CLP, and then make sure it's nice and clean on the inside. And it's not perfect by all means, but you know what? It's a whole heck of a lot better than it was. And you can see that it didn't take long, really, maybe 10 minutes to do it. But if you have the right products, you have a nice little setup right here. and. Uh, you know, you wind up, you're committed to it. You can actually take care of see some of these old guns that you can find laying around at some of these garage sales and bring them back to life. And I think that one right there is back to life. Hi everybody, I'm Keith Warren. And this is Maddie. We are going fishing. How about a kiss? See if we can catch something, we're gonna have a shore lunch if we do. So you better get busy because if we don't catch anything, it's gonna be a long time till supper. Okay. <laughs>
Come on now. Goodness. This one may have some shoulders to it now. Maddie, would you like to reel this one in? No, you caught it. You okay, reeled it I in. Just, I'm just always offering. Ooh, look at that. Leg trout. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, well. Did he get off? He got off. Crap. That's huge. I'll bet you there's another one there, though. OK, we got us a keeper. All right. Somebody, anyway. Hopefully, he stays put. Oh, boy. What we got here? I don't think it's much of a fish, but it's it's got plans to eat, join us for lunch. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's lassoed. He's going to put that death grip on him, a big old bear hug. Now, look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. Actually, we're looking for a lake trout, but that'll work any day. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boy, that's a pretty fish, too. Yes, sir. Pretty fish. So when you catch all these fish, you've got to do something with them. And we release most of them, but we keep some of them and we head up to the shore for what we call shore lunch. Anybody that winds up doing shore lunches like this has their own knives that they wind up using. Of course, ours are knives of Alaska, and they are some kind of razor sharp. What do you think? It smells good. I can't wait. Yeah, it's coming right at us. I just think everything's right, right good. I'm thinking this is about as good as it gets right here. So after you eat, you feel like a big fat bear. The fish is so good. And we all sit around, talk. But, you know, my dad's really famous for his naps, and he lived up to that legacy up here. getting a break on the weather. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, it's beautiful today. It's yeah. kind of hot even. Yeah, it is kind of hot. Uh, you can always take these layers off after we get to where we're going. So uh, yesterday, Maddie wound up shot a great bear. I mean, pretty fired up about it, huh? Oh yeah, I mean, it was a huge bear, but more importantly, it was an awesome story. Like, he was so close. It was scary close is what I keep saying. So and it was he, awesome. And he was a big bear. Yeah. And the deal is yesterday the weather was, it really sucked. I mean, we had sleet and snow and terrible weather. I did get to see one bull moose. I got to see the same little bear, but we're going to a different stand now. and going to see if this weather and uh, all that changes. A couple of things I tell people, if you're going to come to country like this, always bring good rain gear. We didn't. We borrowed ours from Mark. Bring your sunglasses. And the one thing if you don't bring, you're making a mistake. Your smile. <laughs> So the setup, Mark is actually putting up a stand for the cameraman now. The problem is the wind is wrong, which is not a good thing. Bears have an unbelievable nose it's for that reason that we've done everything we can to eliminate human odor. Spray down with supercharged scent killer. And, uh, but anyway, we're getting a stand set up right now and then crawling out there going fishing and uh, we'll see if the bear shows up for lunch. I hope they remember where they put us, because if they don't, we're going to be in trouble. We'll see.
I hit the damn tree. That was that first. Rotten luck. Holy smokes. Hopefully they'll come back. I don't know. right there he's angry he's ticked off yeah, he's he knows something's not right I think he probably knows we're up here but he's trying to act very aggressive and swat at stuff and woof and try to be aggressive in hopes that anything that is around here is gonna leave right now he's pretty ticked off I see my arrow. I saw it went all the way through him. I see it on the ground with the luminoc lit. A quarter came behind that front shoulder and out the other side. So we're just going to stay put here. Look at that. That's nice. He's gushing blood. All right, well, here it is. It went about 125 yards, and the, the blood, even though we had a really good blood trail, is really hard to see in this ground cover. I mean, you got uh, all kinds of tundra and different colors, and so even though you've got a lot of good blood, it's hard to find, but it went about 125 yards. I'm very, very happy with it. You know, when, when this bear came in, I actually uh, I, I missed the first shot, and I hit that tree, and I didn't think the bear was gonna come back. We wound up, we had a second opportunity and the bear came back in and it was pretty ticked off. And uh, anyway, it was just fixing the bolt when I released the arrow. I'm glad we waited like we did. Uh, we waited a little over an hour. And uh, you may love bear hunting, you just don't know it yet. And so I want, what I wanna do is I wanna invite you to go on a bear hunt with us, with me and Maddie, right here with Big Spruce Outfitters. In the summer of 2020, we want you to join us. If you want more information, you can call Mark right now. His telephone number's on the screen. We'll also have a link to Big Spruce Outfitting. You know, bear hunting isn't for everybody, but for the people that it's for, like me or like Maddie, I mean, we absolutely love it. And if you love bear hunting, or if you've never bear hunted, what turns my crank are the black bears. And he's got a ton of them, and he's got more country than literally a dozen men could see in their lifetime. This is beautiful. If you're watching the video online, make sure and post your questions and comments below. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. I'm Keith Warren, and you've been watching The High Road. Taxidermy work for The High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.